Hey, my name is Radu. In this video, I want to show you how you can use conditional formatting to highlight the entire row. What does that mean? That means that in a given table, if for example in the status, status column I have OK, I want the entire row to be green. And maybe if it's not OK, the entire row to be red. If you want to see how you can do this, watch this video. OK, if you're familiar with conditional formatting, you probably know that it's very easy to change the color, for example, in the D column, in the status column, according to what it's, uh, it's written here. If it's OK, maybe green, if it's not OK, to make it red. But it's a little bit more difficult to change the values here, OK, in the A, B and C columns, according to what is written here, OK? So this is what I want to, to show you. We, what we need for this is to start from somewhere. I'm going to start with uh, cell A2, and after I define the rule, I'm going to make it uh, so it will span the whole table. So, you'll use conditional formatting in the Home tab. And what I want to do is to create a new rule. And I'm interested in uh, finding the one where uh, I need to write a formula uh, to determine which cells to format. Okay? I'm using the Mac uh, user in interface, but in Windows it's pretty similar. So, I'm looking for the option uh, that enables me to write a formula. And the formula is pretty simple. For example, if D2 is OK, let's write OK like this, we're going to make it red, uh, green, sorry. Okay? If D2 is OK, we'll make it green. But we're starting from A2, but we want to make it larger, you know, to, to make this rule uh, span from A to D. So this is why we need to take into account that we want the column to stay the same. But for example, when this rule will go to the 7 row, we want it here to be D7. Okay? This is why I'm blocking D. I want to column, the column to be the same, but I'm uh, letting the, the number be free so it can uh, adapt to the row we're in. Click OK and let's see if it works. For example, if I write OK here, I can see that the row is now is now green. If I delete it, it's OK. But the problem is that this is is working only on A2. I want to make it work on the whole table. So let's firstly remove this formatting. I don't want any fill. OK. I selected A2, I'm going to, to manage rules, and I see that this formula I've written, a very complicated one, applies only to A2. Delete that, let's select the whole table, from A to D. Okay. And now click OK. And what I see very clearly is now each row that has OK on D column is now green. If I delete it, it's no longer green. Okay. So this was very, very simply how you c could use conditional formatting to highlight the entire row. You can do the same thing to add the second uh, conditional formatting uh, rule for the not OK to make, it, uh, to make it red. But for the sake of this exercise, I think uh, you got the point. OK, this was it. If it was useful, feel free to hit that like button. You can also find more about me on my website and also on my YouTube channel.